It's the Placid Plastic Duck Simulator game again. <laughs> now, there's a couple reasons I wanted to do this. One, I wanted to see the rest of the ducks. Two, it's a nice chill game that felt appropriate for Thanksgiving. Three, secret reason. Four, if I get upset in Zelda 2 randomized, I can always, like, come back to this. And just chill for a little bit. And, and we'll leave it running. And we'll see later on how many new ducks dropped. All right. Resume. All right, Saul Duckman. We had Scoot. Wait, 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 wait. Scoot? Why is Scoot not green? Why is also why is Scoot dirty? Huh. That's weird. So this is the duck DLC. Those are all the ones we didn't lock. Yeah, unlock yet. But uh, Scoot is incorrect. Oh. Where's Quaxley? I don't know, but we... He eventually turns green. Oh, is it because of, um... Mallards? It's like a, a mating thing? Oh, yeah. Well, considering it's Thanksgiving, I have my amaretto. That's also kind of a yearly tradition for me, chat. On the rocks. Oh, Scoot, what have you done? Did... Um... Okay, I can't tell if Scoot just had diarrhea or if that was some kind of molting. Is this duck going after Scoot because he's beautiful and cute? Like, because now Scoot is an attractive young mallard? <laughs> That's so weird. He's turning yellow again. Well, as mallards do. They ripen, and then eventually, you know, they they lose their, uh... their color. Chat, I bought bananas. And they were still a little, you know, green. And I'm like, that should be fine, right? Yeah, it tasted, tasted pretty bad. I was like, this needs, like, two more days. Maybe even three. What well, wasn't for me. No, I bought really... Like, really green bananas. Red duck? How do I name ducks again, chat? Maybe, maybe collection? I wish it didn't stop the music. Red ducks. You see what I'm doing, right? Peewee. Gene. Um... I don't know if this was the Ziggy Duck. Maybe there was another one? Chap. Stop music with M? I don't want to stop the music. Um... I guess that's fine. Can you name one chat? Yeah, hang on. Let me find a good chat duck. Chat, was there also a free movement option? No. There really should be one. Duck you. This can be chat. Until a suitably scummy replacement drops. 
So how's everyone's Thanksgiving? Well, uh... Someone said I'm not American. That's okay. Do you have a McDonald's in your country? If you do, you American. Happy Thanksgiving. Well, I see a lot of different answers, and obviously I, there's no way I could absorb or respond to all of them, so I'll just say mine was fine. Uh, a lot of turkey, a lot of stuffing, a lot of... Um, I had the yams with the marshmallows. Not the biggest yam fan. I don't love sweet potatoes. They're fine. They're just fine. I've had good sweet potatoes in the oven that I've made, but I think I may have had a sweet potato incident as a child that put me off to sweet potatoes. I don't know what it was. Maybe it was poorly cooked. Sweet potato and yams are technically different. Well, that's- I like the sweet yams today. Those- those are pretty good. I had a small family thing. It's fine. Um... So yeah, not terrible. And then I had coconut custard pie. Also not my favorite. But it was pretty good. I don't really like, um... I like Spummo. Or Almond Joy a little bit, but then the coconut shavings get kind of caught in your teeth and in your throat. So I don't love that, but they are tasty. And the coconut custard pie was pretty tasty. Spummo? You don't know what Spummo is? Oh, it's Spuno. S-P-U-N-O-W. That's chat, that's mounds backwards and upside down, I think. You are going into the future. Chat doesn't know about this. I got you, chat, don't worry. I got you. Spuno. This is... This is what people get on Halloween. Nothing else. I hand it to them upside down, and that's it. No, I don't give them anything. Um, I really like that. But again, the, the coconut shavings are a little weird. No, I... listen. When I used to go trick-or-treating, there was one shitty neighborhood chat member. A neighborhood member who would put pennies in a little thing of aluminum foil, and that would just go right in your, um, in your bucket. Yeah, pennies. Yeah, five cents. Why? Well, he was old. He looked like Fred Flintstone. Flint. Really, he did, and I think he was just so out of touch and didn't realize that inflation had maybe caught up with the rest of the world. And, uh, yeah, he was given out like five cents in pennies. Or he just wanted to get rid of his pennies. <laughs> I think someone took a shit on his lawn one year. So, you know, be careful. It's like, it's not quite as extreme as Trick or Treat, where if you disregard the rules of Halloween, you just get killed. But, if you disregard the rules of Halloween, you will get some shit upon your lawn. Anyway, we got Psychoduclick. Yo, Saul is going for round two. Oh, no. So, who's in the VIP area? We've got the Dragon Duck. And we've got Duck Yu, who's been kind of hovering around the exit for a little while. Pink the Duck Floyd? I, I gotta be honest, I don't think Pink Floyd is the representation of this level of psychedelics. In my mind, they're not. 
I don't know wh what band. Maybe Jimi Hendrix. Uh, no, maybe not even that. Grateful Dead. Yeah, Grateful Dead. A tool, I wouldn't... Yeah, a little tool, but... Tool's not like 60s flower power psychedelic. That's like... Oh god, the crushing weight of existence. Flaming Lips can kind of maybe, you know, I mean, a little Floyd for sure. Today I watched a Tom Petty concert from 2003. And I don't know why, I just had it on in the background while I was doing, like, laundry and stuff, and... Good. Really, really loving Tom Petty lately. Yeah, I went back in time and teleported to the concert. Happy Gobble Day. Vinny, I never watched this game before. What exactly is it? Duck Watching Simulator? Um... It's a good podcast game. When this duck meter fills up, a new duck drops. And you basically try to fill the collection. So there's many ducks I haven't seen yet. Um, you know what though? I will name the psych <clears throat> psychedelic duck. I will. I'll name him Floyd, just because. If I'm thinking about Piper at the Gates of Dawn first, Floyd, that that works just fine. Chat can be the wireframe duck. Where is the wireframe duck? Chat, don't get me on the topic of Pink Floyd. I can talk for hours about Pink Floyd. Don't do it. Did you see the smile when they came to New York? I did. I was there. Has the yellow submarine duck spawned? No. I do wish there was a Quaxley duck. I wonder if... Okay, last time I streamed this, chat found another streamer of this game that was running on 0.5 FPS because there were like 300 ducks. Like, some were here, some were here, some were here. This was in the pool somehow. It was insane. He's still live. Oh my god. Over 2K and it's streaming ducks. Hang on, we gotta take a look at this. We, it just went from one person to 13 people and probably a lot more in just a second, but... Yeah, it's also like one FPS, and there are, I would say, maybe a hundred or so ducks. Even though some chat member said there's 2,000. What's your favorite duck? I just, I'm fine with duck brand duck. Like, I like a nice mallard. But that's also whomst I feed from time to time. There's also fancy ducks. Someone sent me a duck, um, guide. I have, like, a, 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 it's like a menu of just various types of ducks, so you can learn about them. Wood ducks, um, mallards, other ducks whose names I cannot remember. No, it's not like a menu of, like, how to cook them or anything. It just shows you the the types. It's like a duck guide. Why is there a dead duck? No, it's not dead. It's just heavy. My ass is ever. Have you ever watched the Urban Rescue Ranch? I have. Vinny Tommy is still streaming. Listen, he needs those 35 cents per ad that he gets. New duck just dropped. Bashful duck. Tsundakre. Alright, 
fun. I'm gonna name this one. Wait, wait, what were the controls again? There's music on. Uh, there's really not a whole lot, is there? No. You want a uh, dak dak suit? Okay. Would you like to own a duck one day? No. You need more than one. You need like two or three ducks if you're going to own a duck. You don't want one duck. I've learned singular duck, that's like, they're very social creatures. And they're very shit. They, they, they shit. I was going to say, they're, they're not shitty creatures, but they shit. So, um, I saw a picture of two ducks in like a little store. And they had like diapers. <laughs> And, and, uh, I don't know, I guess the duck owner brings them on walks, but just puts them in diapers. They're nice, but I'll tell you what, I was more than happy to feed ducks in, uh, you know, in the park. That's fine. That, that, that is good enough for me. Because that way, if they shit, it belongs to the park. There's a whole big social gathering here. <clears throat> what do you feed ducks? Well, you're, you know, typically oats. Those, that's an easy one. And they like it, and it's not bad for them. But you can also do, like, peas. Never bread. Yeah, you can do, um, like, cut up grapes. Every park that has ducks should have a sign that says, Please, fuck you, if you have bread. How was your Thanksgiving? It's it's fine. Weirdly enough, I, I'm not into duck as a food. I've had it. I think it's... Maybe I've not... Um, saw the point of it. Oh shit, look at that. I just haven't seen the point of it. Because I didn't really like it, uh, when I had it the couple times I had it. I had it one good time, which is from Chinatown. In Chinatown, in Manhattan, they have, um... Some of those Chinese food places are incredible. And I've had the duck there. Holy shit. That was the best time I had it, but only one time did I have it good. Hey, chat. Does this sound familiar? It's called Sea Bat. Hang on. It's 
So it's... Okay, I got it. Wow. The, the actual, like, mastery of music on display from Seabat. Like, what scale is that? That's the Coxlidian scale. Like, I don't even think that scale existed before Seabat. <laughs> it's terrible. Um, what, what was that? Did a duck just sink again? Chat. Chat, we got another stone duck. Damn. That last note is a quarter step. So, oh, do I have to fucking do micro tuning? I have to, like, bend. I think I got it. I had to just bend it a little bit. It's like micro How the fuck is Seabat micro tonal? Someone show King Gizzard, they'll cover it. Have you had any good cannolis recently? How many times have you asked that question, Chapman? Oh, only twice. Sorry, right, never mind. Sorry, I thought I saw that like five more times. It's like, I gotta ask this guy about his cannolis. Uh, sure. Cannolis are a special occasion, though. You don't want to have too many cannolis because they're very messy. Almost. Something like that. Any new Red Vox news? No. Vinny, can you zoom out a little bit? Um... Can you play Free Bird? I can play Free Ducks. Which is what this is. You get free ducks every couple minutes. Someone said something about a bakery. I couldn't read the rest of it, but um, there was a bakery, There, I think it still exists, that sells a uh, cronut. It's a croissant. I think it's a croissant donut. And people would line up at like six in the morning and they would sell out immediately. There would be huge lines. They would be kind of expensive. It, it turned into like this, this wacky, it turned into this wacky thing and other places copied it, but apparently they didn't get it quite as good. Cronut. Cronut. Please stop bringing Timbits to the studio. Poor Mike can't beat the temptation. Mike needs more Timbits in his life. It was only one time. Here's, listen, chat, here's how you get away with buying sweets for yourself. Buy more of them and then bring them to a place where other people may eat them. And then eat as many as you want and then just leave them there. Tim Hortons in New York. We've got many Tim Hortons in New York now, yeah. I don't know why. But no Wawa. Still no Wawa. And no Waffle House. Chat, do you know how bad I want a Wawa and a Waffle House? Like, it's sick. I, I have a sickness that I want these things in New York. Anyway, we're just going to chat for a little bit while these ducks drop, and while that's going on, um, maybe like three more ducks will we'll get Zelda 2 randomized going.
new Against the Storm update today. Yeah, I haven't played it yet, but some good quality of life stuff and some adjustments. Um, very excited. I, I'm learning more and more about that game every time I play. I love it. I absolutely love it. A Nine Inch Nails tier list. I actually don't think I could do that fully because they have a lot of stuff. I'd have to, like, check out the stuff I've missed. It's only, like, two things I've missed, but I could... Listen, I could tell you right now, if you want my Nine Inch Nails opinions, it's downward spiral, it's broken, and fragile. I love those three. Sure, I love, um... What's this? What are we listening to? I love With Teeth for how catchy the melodies are. And I even liked uh, the newest stuff, too. Bad Witch was great. But I don't think there's any bad Nine Inch Nails. Do you know any George Harrison songs? Um... No. Sorry. Uh, Got My Mind Set On You is not a George Harrison song, that's a cover. New Duck. Oh, look at this one! In Daylight. That duck is going to be amazing. Vinny, can you play any of the Sid Barrett Pink Floyd songs? With time, I could probably learn, but I, I actually don't know a lot of other people's songs. I started by learning Zeppelin, and then I ended up... Um, I started by learning Zeppelin and some Floyd and Beatles and stuff, and then uh, some other stuff, but... What was it? My guitar's a lot of tune. No, I haven't played this in a while. Mike keeps cutting it out. Well, this isn't a concert. Uh, not for free, chat. Vinny, do you have, remember what it was like learning guitar? Could you share any advice? Um, my fingers hurt a lot. Uh, keep, keep making them hurt until they don't as much. Do you make... do they make guitar gloves? No, they don't, but... Um... They make coin gloves. I make coin gloves. Does anyone want coin gloves? I'll sign them. And I'll wrap up some pennies in aluminum foil. And... They will... five pennies, and they will be free with every pair of coin gloves. Just so you can have a sample of how the product works. Vinny, what's with the hissing noise in the background? Yeah, that's my tinnitus noise. No, that's just the game. Oh, we got a duck that went through the slide. It was Scoot! Oh, hell yeah.
Hang on, chat. Someone said something about George Harrison songs. Now I just want to learn. Should be an easy enough one. It's got one. It's got one that I want to... I think it starts in A minor. Anyway. Two more ducks. Then we start Zelda. This is just the Zelda 2 waiting room, but don't worry, this game will be running the entire time. So by the end of Zelda 2 randomized, hopefully we'll have unlocked most of the ducks. So I think it's, um... There we go. So it's... Right? And then it's A minor, A minor 7. I should know... Oh, A minor 7's got a G. And then... F. This is probably a good use of my time. Forcing chat to be patient while I learn how to play a song poorly. Vinny's music is mid as fuck. Chat member's bait is mid as fuck. I like how a chat member said Zoomer take. I think that was an even worse insult. You got him, chat member. You got the throat. Opinions are like assholes. Wario is there. It's ketchup from Animal Crossing. I'll get it. Did you see the World Cup? I didn't. I almost kind of can't think of a thing I'd rather watch less. Actually, I could. Um, at the Thanksgiving thing, there was the news. And... That was pretty bad. Um... That's always good to have on during a Thanksgiving Day family celebration, you know, like, hanging out. Some, uh... Some murders to talk about. Fun. I mean, I respect... I respect the sport, I just... Respectfully, it's not for me. Not the sport of murder. I'm talking about, you know, football. No, no, that's a good song with some good chords. Murder by Numbers by the police. I knew that one. That's got some really wacky chords, chat. Can I see the plane? Hang on, whoa, 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 hang on, hang on a second. Oh, there it is. <laughs> it took pilot wings! Can you strum the World is Vampire song, please? No. I'd actually, I don't know it. Uh, I'm not taking requests necessarily, Chad, I'm just... I figured, I have a guitar next to me, let me keep myself occupied while Chad is forced to listen.
Benny, did you know that they had a new Adams Family show on Netflix? It's called Wednesday, and they released it on Wednesday. Chat member, that's like me tier commentary. Can you shred something mean? I'm not a shredder. I only shred foot lettuce. I'm sorry, chat. Panduck. Play the Teletubbies theme. <laughs> Actual question, can you still play parts of Stranded? If I listened to it, I could, sure. I'd have to... That's the thing, like, I'm... Going back and learning some stuff has been... Interesting. Because I... It, like, leaves my mind after I record it. The God of War producer said after Ragnarok they want to do a Castlevania game. Well, I bet it'll be amazing visuals, amazing gameplay. But every couple minutes, Simon's going to be like, There's a whip spot that you can swing across. You missed that time. Try again. Hit Dracula in the head. Hit Dracula in the head. You missed that one. Try another. This feels like a low-hanging fruit. Well, I mean... I haven't played God of War Ragnarok. And that's the meme around it, so... That's the only fruit. <laughs> I'm sorry to say. I mean, I know it's amazing. But it's like a lot of those prestige Sony games are just like... The way, um... Uh, the Game Maker's Toolkit dude described it, was like, it's like a Marvel movie. You know you're going to have an amazing spectacle, and you're going to get some pretty incredible things that happen. But maybe the, the gameplay is not as deep as some other games. And it's like, that's cool. I like stuff like that too, but I haven't played any of those games. I don't know how true that is, but that's what he said, and I thought that was a cool analogy. Um, it looks like it from the visuals and from, like, the way the game plays out. And I've played plenty of games like that. However, I also really fucking love the Freedom Elden Ring gave, where you just don't know what's happening. And if you want to know, you can. I just love that. I love that it's, like, minimal cutscenes. You know, you're actually... Flower Duck. D or Daisies. I, I kind of love that. In um, Breath of the Wild and Elden Ring, like a lot of these open world games go for that approach where you are curious about the world and if you want to learn more, you can. So that's currently my favorite kind of thing. Uh, Pokemon is the exact opposite of that in the beginning, but now that, you know, I'm like playing it or trying to play it, you know, when it, when the slides move, um, you get plenty of chance to go off and do your own thing, but then there's still lots of really, really basic-ass looking cutscenes that just exposition dump upon you. But it's different, you know, different approaches for different folks, and uh, I'm sure God of War is awesome. But I, I do think Mark Brown was right when he said that there could be a hint slider. So if you don't want the boy to tell you how to do the puzzle, after you've only looked at it for like 10 seconds, maybe you could just turn them off. That seems like a good thing to do. Just turn them off. Or just have a button for hints. Yeah, I mean, you can do, you can do so many different types of things with hints. You can have them be, um... You know, like a hint station, you could have NPCs organically tell you hints. You can have it, like, in the menu, or you can have it so that the player has to buy the hints via a battle pass. All of these are viable options. Wait, what did I just say?
the NPCs do organically tell you hints. What, in God of War? Because the complaints I've seen about it are they just straight up tell you how to do the things. Like, constantly. Vinny, are you going to try out Dark Tide? Uh... Yes. Hell yeah. Snow? Vinny, what's your ideal video game philosophy? Game design philosophy? I guess... I, I just love the Breath of the Wild approach. That was my favorite, because I, you know how I am. I don't mean to be this way, but I tend to mash through the story. I love that you just start the game, you get... Instantly, you go outside, you get one cutscene, it shows you the thing, and then you just do whatever you want. <laughs> I love that. That won't work for every game, though, but at the moment, that's something I, I quite enjoy. I want to see more of that. Um, I also like... I like a game... Uh... That is... Very complex. Like, Against the Storm. I'm gonna use that as an example. The game is extremely complex. But, you get so much wiggle room early on, and it kind of organically unfolds each mechanic, that you can suck for like the first 10 hours, but as a result of that, you can still mostly win, and then you want to learn more. I love that. And I like cutscenes. I mean, hell, I love Metal Gear Solid, the whole franchise. But that's a different thing. That's Kojimbo. That dude is like a movie director hidden inside of a game developer. And then they took it to the next level with Metal Gear Solid Twin Snakes. The best video game cutscenes of all time. Sarcasm. Sarcasm! Alright chat, we got one more duck drop and then I'm gonna play some Zelda 2. Thank you for joining the Q&A Music Hour Jamboree. This game is very relaxing and makes for good podcast material where you can just watch some rubber ducks. But uh, as I said, if you're just joining, I'm going to be leaving this up during the um, Zelda 2 gameplay. And uh, we'll see how many ducks I have by the end of it. Duck dropping. Look to the heavens, for a duck shall fall, said the Lord. And locusts and plague shall sweep the kingdom. Oh, I look too high up. Spider web duck. You know, the music selection in this game really adds to the whole fucking thing, doesn't it? Strange duck villain. Hey, 
Here comes the Flamingo, the famous Pokemon Flamigo. I don't know how that happened. I think it just kind of eventually drops in. All right. It's stuck for now. All right. Let me save. Just got to save. All right? And then I'm going to throw this in a window and I'm going to mute it. Okay. Now I don't know what Johnny's going to do for the rest of this full sauce video, but I'll tell you what, when I play it later, maybe he can just add that on. Like, we'll just have the beginning and the end, and maybe we'll check in midway through. I'm not going to have this on the screen during Zelda 2. I'm just going to have Zelda 2, sorry to say. Okay. One second, chat. I need a breather. There are now two spider ducks. Whoa, man. Whoa, look at this one. Metal Duck. Yeah. In the town where I was born, lived a man who sailed to sea. All right, everybody, now it's with peace and love that we're going to sink to the bottom of the ocean. Oh, oh, it goes underwater. It actually is like a yellow submarine. Best duck in the game. All right. Now, it is with peace and love and violence that I will be promoting my new record by showing you my feet. That's right. Real quick, we got some some new ducks. I, I want to still. We got two jeans. They're hanging. Oh no, no, that's the panda and Jean. Um, we got some new. Oh, this this duck. Wow. Whoa. Oh, the ducks are being set on fire by the dragon. Flower duck. Cheese duck? Tiger skin duck? Fa whoa, this- whoa! Queen duck from Deck of Cards. There's a duck in the flamingo. It's a spotted duck. From, wait, no, how did you want me to say it, chat? It was from a deck of cards. Bump, bumpy pink duck. Watermelon duck. Some good ones here, chat.
What, what did you- how did you want me to say that? It's the queen card? It is playing cards queen. It is queen from the playing cards. It is- it is- No. It is the queen from deck of cards is a great way to say that. It wasn't even a queen- a queen, it was a king. Alright. So what Johnny's gonna do, I would imagine, is just gonna cut from the... the Zelda song... into now. But this is the result of an entire Zelda 2 rando run later. We have so many new ducks. Including my favorite duck now, aside from yellow, Submarine. We got Alien Duck. It makes an alien quack. Look, it's it's the queen from Deck of Cards, everybody. <laughs> well, this duck is kind of weird. But yeah, there's there's many many new ducks here in in the po uh, the pool. In the pool. Cheese duck. Remember Cheese Cat? Cheese Cat was a very controversial cat. Oh shit, Plasma Ball duck! So many good new ducks. Classic green. I want to see the collection chat. So, we are still missing a bunch. But we've gotten a whole lot more expansion ducks. Christmas is here, chat. Thanksgiving is now over. That, that means it's Christmas. Ah, the flamingo blocked the VIP pool. Well, for those wondering, the Zelda 2 rando run was both very kind and also a complete nightmare. You know, if you're watching this and not having watched this live, uh, I will tell you that It was a good run, but there were moments of it that were just horrendous. Oh, there's a bunch of baby ducks, chat. I can't click on them. Beach ball is here. New duck about to drop. Three, two, one. Three, two, one. Three, two, three, three, two, one. Agent Duck. Mr. Quackerson, or something. Or, yeah, it could be, like, Hitman Duck. So yes, many new ducks were acquired. Alien Duck and Plasma Ball Duck are just wonderful.
There's several stone ducks at the bottom, chat. Well, two. Two. Is that a Flamigo? Yeah, exclusive Pokemon Flamigo. We'll wait for one more duck and then I want to get to sleep. Drake? You want me to name... I don't know, the Duck Drake has kind of been ruined for me a little bit. Chat, there's some ducks that I unlocked that are not currently visible. Like, let me show you. Hang on, look at this collection. So there's the Dragon Duck. We got that one. Where's this duck? Oh, it's molting still. I think. That duck is a chameleon. It adopts the appearance of whatever duck is next to it periodically. Chat with the info. Then he reset so we can see the rocket duck. Okay. One duck is already in the VIP area. Oh, there's, yeah, chameleon duck. Rocket duck! Rocket duck! Launch. Oh, look, we just saw the chameleon duck do the thing. It needs the dragon to light it? It's lit. Oh, it is lit. Yeah. The yellow submarine. <laughs> Only take off once it's night, though. Why does chat know every intricate detail about this game? You know why? Because game good. Hello, chat. So much better when this pool isn't being blocked. Yeah, Pee Wee. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pee Wee. Pee Wee is free. You've made it to the ocean. <laughs> well done.
It's a big world out there, Pee Wee. You made it. Beautiful. Gone. The great blue yonder. Can't wait for the rocket launch. Someone's in that tree. Yeah, I thought so too, but I'm not. I'm not so sure. You see at the top of the screen, in the uh, I'm not sure at the bottom. No, just the top just gets smeared a little bit. Huh? Now it's not. Soon we'll have our own Thanksgiving duck fireworks chat. Oh yeah, in the corners. Yeah, the corners, it's all... I didn't just notice that now, yeah. Yeah, the borders. Why is it like that? aesthetic or improper shader culling. Kind of seems somewhat intentional, but I don't know. Weird. has arrived. Where are the baby ducks? Last time there were baby ducks. Someone in chat said, why is the chat the worst looking duck? A, you take that back. B, you know why. Oh shit, oh shit, a whole bunch of them. Whole bunch of them. Are these ducks player controlled? No. Now these ducks are... You just watch them. That's, that's pretty much it. category should I give this game an award in Steam for, in, in the Steam Awards? Uh, most chill? Most re relax game? Relax game. Relax game of the year. I don't- I, I guess you can make up your own categories. Dev actually wants you to pick relaxing. Relaxing it is, everybody. Sit back and relax, award is a thing. Oh yeah, that makes sense then. Rocket launch. Will begin shortly, I would imagine. The flower on the pot duck is growing. 
Oh, that's cool. Vinny, the twerky video is making its rounds again. My twerky video or just a twerky video? God. Amazing. That is the most exciting this game is ever going to get. Why did the aliens abduct my duck? Was it a cow duck? Chad is saying it's a cow duck. Amazing. It's raining, but it's also not. Oh, now, now we got rain. It depends on where you're looking. Like, you can't see it that well that way. There's this, yeah, there, there are two stone ducks that sunk to the bottom. New duck very, very shortly in three, two, three, two, one, three, three, two, looking at here, chat. Molecule? Super duck? Coin slot duck? Magnet duck? Piggy bank duck? There, there are many different ideas. There's a plus and a minus duck. Okay. So like plusle and minel from Pokemon or whatever. Like two tiny mice. Well, Chathaniel, I think it's time for me to end this stream and hit the old, uh, old sack, you know? <laughs> right out of this town like I rode in. So I'm gonna do that. Thanks for watching tonight. Happy Thanksgiving. I'll see you soon. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll be around. I don't know when, but uh, at the very least, Sunday. Good night. And thank you once again. The flower bloomed. It did. Okay, bye everybody. Thanks mods. And anyone who is subbed, not necessary, uh, but I appreciate you using your free Amazon sub, <laughs> prub sub, so I'm prime, spime. Good night. <laughs>